Let's explore what's new in release 1.9.0 version of the ESP IDF Visual Studio Code extension. We have added two walkthroughs. One, the basic usage guide, which will guide you through setting up the extension, creating an example project, as well as building, flashing and monitoring. The second walkthrough is presenting you the capabilities of the main features used in the extension. We also added the ability to enable and disable the ESP IDF commands from the status bar in order to customize it as you see fit. With this new version, we have introduced the ability to filter the USB serial ports by product ID and vendor ID. By default, this is set to false, but you can enable it in settings.json file of your project. Also, you can customize your filtering by changing the following key. Another enhancement in this release is the support for ESP IDF's 5.3 new size analysis format. Compared to the old version, this one provides more detailed memory usage insights. Keep in mind, this format is only available for projects using ESP IDF version 5.3 or higher. We have also introduced an ESP IDF template project for GitHub code spaces which can be used to build an ESP IDF application in GitHub code spaces and for flashing it to the development board and monitor the output right from the web browser. All you have to do is click on this button and open in a code space. After it will load for a while, it will look similar to this. Also, now, thanks to our awesome contributor, Gilles Zunino, you can see the linker errors right in the problems list of VS Code. We also changed the documentation format to be similar with the one from ESP IDF. A link to that documentation will be added to the description of this video. Another change made to the documentation is revamping the readme file on our GitHub repo to make it easier to follow. We also added the Chinese translation for it. You can access it by pressing the following link. Thanks for watching. For a complete list of changes, check out our blog post. You'll find the link in the description below. Happy coding!